I'm Raymond Murdoch. I'm uh, Sarah's dad. I'm a very proud father of her and that she works for Rick Steves. And I have a little bit of international background. I was actually born and raised in Northern Ireland. Ireland is a, a lot like Seattle in the sense that the climate is very, very much the same. It's cold in the wintertime. It gets a little snow, but not too much. And uh, it's just like very, very cold. As you can tell, I speak fluent American. I always laugh about that because when everyone thinks I, I'm not from another country, but when I'm around Irish people, I start talking like them. And I'll be saying things like, it's a little bit of other white, so it is. And a lot of times people don't understand what I'm saying. But uh, I always tell them, right now I speak fluent American. So, um, interestingly, when I was growing up, Christmas was a really, it was, it was a strange place in the sense of, we lived in like a third world country. It was very, very poor. And the kids in those days didn't get very much. Generally, we would get um, an orange and an apple and maybe uh, one box of assorted candy from like Cadbury's that had you know several different candy bars in it. And that was, that was basically it. My uh, aunt used to always buy us the same thing every Christmas. She'd buy us some bedroom slippers. So we always look forward to the the bedroom slippers and and believe it or not the orange was a big deal in Ireland because or, oranges are not grown in Ireland so they have to be imported and uh, there was very few oranges available it, when you got one at Christmas it was really uh, it was really quite a big deal um, Ireland's you know, like I said is a is a was a, when I grew up it was a poor country it was almost like a third third world country and didn't have a lot of things when we were growing up. You know, interestingly enough, that you, you think about soccer as being such a worldwide wide sport, and if, if you came from Ireland or any of those other poor countries, you realize why it was. Because back in the day, you know, we didn't have fancy goals and we didn't have fancy balls to kick around. We'd actually take five rocks and there'd be two rocks for one goal and two rocks for the other goal and you kick the fifth rock around like it was the ball and that's how we played soccer so you can see how soccer was so popular in countries that really you know were, were very poor the only problem is my my dad used to get really mad because we, we'd uh, go through a lot of shoes our, our, our boots would always be kind of like scuffed up and <laughs> from kicking rocks so it was uh, it was really interesting uh, and, Back in the day, too, there was a lot of strife and fighting in Ireland, and um, they say it was about religion, but it really wasn't, because later on, when Ireland joined the EU and the Southern Ireland got, you know, more prosperous, go figure, all the fighting stopped. So it was really kind of always about money, and uh, the fact that it was, they picked the sides as Catholic and Protestant, I think that was more or less you know, not really the way it was, although the countries were, Northern Ireland was predominantly Protestant and Southern Ireland was predominantly Catholic. But, you know, those were good times growing up. We didn't have very much, but the stuff we had, we really appreciated. And, you know, Christmas is all about family and being around the people you love. And, and I, you know, we always, we always had a lot of people around us that, that you know, made, made it special. And, like I said, it really wasn't about things. One interesting story was my mother, who actually divorced my dad and moved to America, um, she remarried in America and, and we stayed in, in Ireland with her dad. And every Christmas, she would actually send us a package, you know, of presents over. And we always looked, looked forward to that. One year, she sent a package and we took this opened the package and, and it was an American football and we had no idea what you you do with this <laughs> oblong goofy looking football we tried to kick it and it would go all over the place and wouldn't roll right and we didn't know we didn't know you passed it at all so well, and the irony is that you're the biggest Seahawks fan that I know <laughs> yeah and, and, and we were we would try to kick this ball this football around like it was a soccer ball and and no one could figure out what the heck to do with it because we'd, we'd never, ever seen American football. So it was, 
thinking back, it was actually kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you actually do on Christmas? Um, we, we mainly had like Christmas dinner and we do, I don't ever remember having turkey. It was more like a, a roast or something. And you know, our Irish food at that time was very, very bland. So you really had the basics. You had a piece of meat, like a roast and, and potatoes, of course, and vegetables. And there wasn't any fancy, fancy food too much. Um, that's, that's pretty much what it was. It was just a, like a large roast or something that got there and the family got around. And Did you have sweets or anything afterwards? The, yeah, they, my family used to make really good pastries and cakes and that was always a fun part. Is that your grandmother made them? My grandmother, yeah, she made them and we lived with my grandmother. And it was, like I said, it was more of a time for family. There wasn't a lot of gift opening because we just didn't have a lot of gifts. But, you know, the things we did have, we really, really appreciated. When you get that one box of Cadbury's chocolates with all the different uh, candy bars in it, that was really special. And to get an orange at Christmas, oh my gosh, that was like, that was like the, the best. So, yeah, that was, it was, it was a good time. Like I said, it was more emphasis on family back then. And I don't even remember a lot of Christmas lights, like, I, I, I guess we were just too poor to put Christmas lights up. I, Maybe that just wasn't a thing back then. I don't, I don't remember. I, know, I remember we had, we had Christmas trees in the house, but I don't remember having outdoor Christmas lights so much. Yeah, that might have been an American thing. So, um, what do you remember from your first Christmas in America, like the difference? All I remember is from America is when my sister and I flew into Los Angeles and looking out the, the plane window and seeing so many, many lights. Because we actually came over right around Christmas and we'd look out the, win the window and we saw more lights than you can imagine. When you think of I came from a small town, you know, that was basically dark, <laughs> uh, to, to, to fly into Los, Los uh, Angeles near Christmas time and look down out of the plane window and see so many, many lights. It was just amazing. I always remember that. So, yeah, it was it was interesting because my mother had been living over in this country for quite a while and, of course, she didn't really know too much about raising kids cause, because we were actually with my father most of the time. So when I came over to this country... Oh, she even said, when she was still there, you were mostly with your dad. Yeah, yeah. When, when I uh, came over to this country, the, the one thing I always remember is she sent me to school. In, in, our, in Ireland, I used to go to private school and I wore a blazer and I wore with a little insignia on it and I wore like a cap. And it was pretty kind of goofy looking in American standards. But so when I came over to this country, my mother sent me to school in my school clothes with, with, a, with my cap on and my blazer. And American kids, you know, they they just thought that was just funny, and they would come up and they'd, you know, come to me and make all these comments. And and you know, back in Ireland, and you know, <laughs> we settled those comments, but with our with our fisticuffs, you know, we 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 so needless to say, I was in a lot of trouble the first day of school. <laughs> you know, it, I answered all their their remarks with. Uh, you know, let's duck it out. <laughs> and that didn't work very well. And, and you have to understand, when you come from a foreign country, you go to an American school, I didn't even know who Abraham Lincoln was or George Washington. I had no clue who those people were. And you don't re realize how removed some of these kids that come from foreign countries are from the American way. You just assume that everyone knows George Washington and Abraham Lincoln and all this stuff. And, you know, it's, that's, that's not the way it is at all. I mean, I was just close to who those people were. And of course, I didn't do very good in, uh, in American history in school. <laughs> so I remember that. Um, so any other final thoughts or, or memories of Christmas you want to share? Uh, not really. I mean, I think that the, the, the bottom line on all of this is that not kids nowadays get so much. And it seems like every Christmas, they, the expectation is higher and higher and higher. When I grew up, <coughs> the expectation was 
slow and, and pretty consistent because you got the same thing every year. And really, it didn't matter. It, it was just a matter of that the time of the year was, was more important than the, the actual the actual gift. So, you know, if you, if you were to think back, it, it was in some ways it was a better time back there where the kids were a lot more appreciative of what they got. And you didn't have to have 50 gifts and, or some really expensive gifts to make Christmas a really happy time. Thank you very much, Dad. Merry Thank Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas to you. <laughs>